on toxic. I like to shake my paint up, okay? And I also have a brush and a clean rock. Make sure you wash your rocks. These are Caribbean white beach rocks that we're gonna be using. You need a vessel for your paint. And I like to thin down my acrylic paint with water. And why do we thin down the paint? Thin paint with water so it dries faster. We want it to dry fast so we can do four layers. Four layers. So, what's the ratio of paint, acrylic paint, to water? The ratio is three to one. And that's acrylic paint is three drops. So, we're not gonna make a lot of paint because it's not that big of a rock. We're not painting a house. We're painting a small rock. So it's yellow, and I'm going to try to count out three drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I did nine drops, so for every three, I need a drop of water. So if I had nine drops, one, two, three, I need a drop of water. One, one, four, five, six, another drop of water. Two seven, eight, nine, three, three drops of water. I take my brush and I'm going to mix it up. Now, did it make a lot of paint? No, it did not. Like I said, I'm not make, I'm not painting a house. I'm painting a rock. Okay. So I have my brush loaded and ready to go. So the ratio again was three to one, three drops of paint to one drop of water and I had nine drops so that's three drops of water so here we go we're gonna do the first layer on the top and you don't want to do it thick nice and thin in fact you might even say there's no paint on that rock at all well there is but it's very thin that's why we have to do four layers Okay, and yellow might actually take more than four layers. You don't want it thick. And the reason why you don't want it thick is because you want it to dry. So now that you have your first layer on there, you're going to fan it dry. So you take, I have a, like a piece of cardboard, and I say the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That should be dry enough to flip over. So I'm going to flip it over, or as my index card said, flip. Now, we're on the back, and the back has no paint. So again, we are still doing our first layer on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, my rock has a hole in it. All right, no big deal. I'll just paint around the hole. There we go. Again, you don't want thick, 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 thick layers because the t if it's too thick, it won't dry. And your rock at the beginning will start to absorb your moisture of your paint right away so we're just going to make sure we have a nice even layer across all right and then what do we do we fan dry so take my cardboard and i'm going to do the alphabet a b c d e f g h i j k l m N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. It's not quite dry yet, so I'm going to do the alphabet one more time. A B. You can see shiny lines if it's not dry, so you just keep fanning it until it dries. Now it looks dry, so I did a, a little bit more than just regular alphabet. Now I'm going to flip it. Oop, what am I going to do? I'm going to flip it. But we're done with layer one. 
So now we're going to be doing layer two. So I'm going to take my, I, I don't need any more, I don't need more paint yet. So I'm going to paint my second layer. It's finally starting to show up yellow. Again, you don't want thick layers. Thin layers dry faster. Thick paint takes, oh, it takes a good 10, 15 minutes to dry thick paint. So if you do thin it out a little bit, and I use my finger to steady the rock so it doesn't move while I'm doing that, while I'm putting the layers on, I can also paint where my finger was. All right, so now what are we going to do? We are going to fan dry. And if you say the alphabet, it helps to so take up the boredom. Or you could even count to 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. It's still a little dry, so I'm going to turn it and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Oh, that looks good. All right, so we're going to flip it. We're still on our second layer on the back, though, this time. Don't need more paint yet. All right, we're going to flip it, and I can turn down the radio before they start talking. Sorry. All right. That's my school radio, and we got lots of people that talk on the school radio. All right. Let's see. Finish painting this. Go around the edges, I'm trying to get where maybe my fingers touched. And remember, thin layers, thin layers, and it's, it's starting to turn yellow. Now that I've finished doing that, what are we going to do? We're going to fan it dry. We're going to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I'm going to turn it and just make sure it's dry. Oh, yep. See, it's still wet. My fingers, I can feel it. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. And it looks dry enough to flip this time. So now we're going to flip. But we're done with the second layer, so now we are going to start the correct third layer. So flip. I don't think I need to make more paint because I think I have enough to do one more or two more layers. So sometimes I, I use the little paint container to hold the rock so it doesn't slide around on me. Turn the rock with the paint container. See how I do that? That way I don't have to get it all over my fingers, which I already have. But that's okay. It's water soluble, which means I can wash it off. Even if it gets on my clothes, I can wash it off. All right. Now around the edges. Around the edges. You can use any acrylic paint, uh, at least if it's water soluble, because then it will thin down. All right. Let's go here. All right. I've got my thin layer on. What do I do next? I'm going to fan dry the front. Take my cardboard and I'm going to fan. I'm going to count to 30 this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's still a little wet. 31, 32. Or maybe I can do the ABCs again. A, B, C, D, E, 
F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U Oh I can see it drying V W X Y and Z. All right, so now what do we do? We're going to flip it to the back. This is ooh, it's still a little wet. We're going to do the third coat on the back. And I'm running out of paint on this side. So, all right, let's review again. So I'm going to use what paint I have in here. And like I said, I don't want to waste paint. And I don't want to, I don't need a whole thick, thick, thick. I'm just trying to make it yellow. So if I need to make more paint, do you guys remember the ratio? The ratio of paint is three to one. Three acrylic to one water. And since I only got one layer left, I'm only going to do three or six drops. I'm not going to do nine drops like last time. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six drops. Six drops means I need one drop of water for every three. So let's see what we have. One, two, three, one drop of water. Four, five, six, one drop of water. Bloop, whoop, whoa, that was a little more water than I wanted. So you got to be careful when you're measuring. So hopefully it's not too thin. But even if so, it will still dry. But as thin as I made it, I may have to do more than three layers. I may have to do six layers. All right, I'm going to do one more layer. Again, don't go real thick. You want to keep the layers thin. Keep it thin. And then we start the alphabet. And I think this was the back. Oh, look, it looks like two little eyeballs. All right. Because pretty soon you start taking off paint instead of leaving paint on there. All right, so now we're going to do the alphabet. A, B. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Would you like to say them or repeat them with me? Okay, sure. Still a little, still a little wet. So we're going to continue. You don't have to do this hard. Just as long as the air is moving around, you can feel the air moving around. Because it's evaporating. The water cycle. There's water in the paint. So when the air moves, it evaporates and just leaves the paint. And that's what I want. Okay. That's why people paint their houses in the summertime. It's nice and dry and low humidity. And the paint dries nice and fast. All right, I'm going to flip it. I think it's still a little wet. All right, Whew. yep, still a little wet, but that's okay. I'm going to paint one more layer. Nice and, oop, that's a little thick. So I'm not going to go back. I'm just going to, actually, I can hold it. Ooh, my rock's cold because of the air conditioning and the water. When water evaporates, it actually cools things off. And that's what's happening to my rock. Oop, touched it with my finger. All right, there we go. All right. There we go. All right. I'm going to try it one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, I forgot to put my flashcard. And then fan dry. <laughs> but, I mean, it's pretty repetitive, right? I mean, you paint, you dry, you flip. You paint, you dry, you flip. And how many times you do that, it all depends on what color you would like your 